And it's not just the city, it's the whole place. Uh, between the Hook of Holland and Amsterdam, it's like a thousand cycle routes. It's kind of crazy. Wonderful place. So we had this idea about going there and how we could make that happen. Uh, so we came up with this idea of a bit of a tour, uh, starting in various places in the UK, making sure we all hit the Harwich Hook of Holland ferry on the Saturday night prior to Drupal Con and going overnight, get the next morning, a nice little slow cycle through from the Hook of Holland to the venue for Sunday and then enjoy Drupal Con because Drupal Con is this amazing thing. Uh, Can I just begin with oh, that? Yeah, sorry. Um, I mean, I started, uh, I set up. I mean, there was a conversation on Twitter going on, and all of a sudden I noticed that not only you have only 140 characters, and all the people that were interested didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, we need to do something with that. So I started set up the Two of the Drupal Twitter account. Yeah. And then after that, reasonably soon after that, I also made a Drupal Gardens website just to kind of try to funnel the interest of the people um, that are interested in cycling. And that was quite interesting. Um, I've got a list here. I'll just um, read very, out. Very dizzy. Right? I'll just read out some, um, some comment. Well, people, a lot of people say, oh, how, what about luggage and things like that? But the interesting thing is, I mean, initially the idea was to, or still is, um, to cycle from the UK to Amsterdam. But having this site, um, let's just see, the people from, even if somebody from Amsterdam wants to um, come and join us after the ferry, um, London, uh, Paris, Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> if he does that, that's impressive. Is he setting off tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> and even from Munich. Um, so, yeah, I think this is all about figuring out. Um, how we are going to, how much we want to organise it. And I think this is, um, we've talked about it before, but we've talked about it a bit and come up with a couple of pointers kind of coming from the comments people have made that what we've been thinking about. Oh, these are really lovely dots, but yeah. Yeah, so falling off. Stop this way, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so this is a basic overall idea of what we're trying to do. So, certainly in the UK, because obviously, people couldn't come from anywhere. I think everyone here is from the UK though, aren't you? Is it a mainly northern chapter at the moment? Southwest. South West. Yeah. Well, all of you. Wow. Well, you can direct when we get there. Uh, <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I'm cycling on the wrong side of the road now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the idea is to have one or more starting points depending, and it's largely up to you 
as to how we do this. And we really want to get an idea of locations of those that are interested. Where is Harwich? Harwich is Suffolk. Or is it Essex? In a moment, I'm going, to, I'm going to link you to a Google map in a moment for you to give us an idea of where you are, and I've marked the port. I still think everyone should go to North Shields instead. Yeah. <laughs> is that shorter? It's, it's longer bike ride for everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then a shorter ferry ride. So. Okay. Anyway. Oh, oh, that, that is, <coughs> I mean, this is literally the hook of horror, the Harwich the hook of Holland, literally, because I was looking at that. Initially, I was just thinking, oh, well, I'm going to ride. That's where I would ride to, yeah. because I live in North Norfolk. So... It's not very hot, but I yeah. didn't see it on my front. Oh, OK. It was about three hours, 40 minutes. We did have a nice one, so it was a bit longer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we were you, you get, like, really nice little beds. And yeah, but you can actually get a bit of sleep and stuff and actually get out. Yeah. It was still worth it. Really ah, bonus. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> and so... I'm really awesome. <laughs> the shop is very expensive. <laughs> then the idea, finish in Amsterdam, including, basically make sure that everybody who is doing it does that particular leg, from Hook of Holland to Amsterdam, which is kind of like nice cycle paths along the coast, all at the same time, because we could end it with quite a few people, which would be really quite nice. Uh, so that's basically what we were originally thinking. And then really what we wanted to do is put questions to you about what you think and how that works with you. So, yeah, I'm trying to remember what's next. There's a couple of kind of principles that we oh, wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a friendly ride to DrupalCon. This is not a race. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you race if you want? Yeah. Well, actually, that's what I was going to say here. Well, if you want to start later and catch up, then you can turn into a... What we'd like to do is... contribute to the core. <laughs> yeah, so what we want to do is get the car right. If you want to add riding down from Edinburgh to, to a starting point in some crazy amount of time, uh, two hours to Manchester or something ridiculous, then... Two hours? Yeah. <laughs> on the train. On the train. I did say ridiculous. It's only on the train. <laughs> then I am not going to stop you. Yeah? If you were to get your fab uh, Pinarello racing bike and ride like a loon all the way down, fine. But the bit that will work, the, the main core of it is going to be friendly ride there, taking our time, not trying to do miles and miles and miles every day, uh, just a, enough, so that everyone can ride those bits. Yeah? Uh, we want to do a little bit opportunities for training, etc. Yeah, beforehand. Well, why we want. Why ride it? Hmm? Why ride it? No, I've been <laughs> training for the bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, right? <laughs> So that's what we were thinking. I, I'm really keen to do something that everybody, certainly everybody in this room, would be able to take part in. Yeah. How many miles a day are you thinking? Well, kind of, if you've got all day, you'd be surprised if you could do 50, 60 miles in a day and it'd actually be okay. Yeah. I mean, there's people looking up and going, oh my god. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Holland? Google reckons it's four and a half hours or five. Yeah. From, From Hook of Holland to Amsterdam. Yeah. Generic Amsterdam. Yeah. 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 Was it about 80 kilometres? That's yeah. 50 miles? It's, it's worth thinking because you've got seven kilometres. For the vast majority of Europe, apart from Britain, like the Hook of Holland is not the first place you've ever arrived. But you can do it the first time you do arrive. That's where they hire a bike. If they fly in Amsterdam, they can hire a bike there. Exactly. Yeah. So basically, it's a night. It's a place you can go where you're not going to be on main roads. There's lots of cycle location, uh, cycle paths and stuff between those two places, between Rotterdam and Amsterdam. So it works out really quite relaxed. Not you're not having to think about major roads and so on. 
beers and scores. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing it on the Brompton in Tweed. Seriously, I'm not going to take this seriously. Where do you drink the light, bro? Well, actually, yes, yes, if, we move on, yeah, if, we, if we move on, then we got onto some of the yeah. kind of questions that we need <coughs> to think about. Um, we don't want to do this where we're taking all of our gear, because I can only get so much gear on there, and I usually take loads of stuff to triple con, usually a great big bag. Yeah. So, we don't just want cyclists for this. We want van drivers. Yeah? We want uh, people to help us when we get to Amsterdam. We want uh, someone to help with making sure that we can do something good with this. We don't know what yet. Uh, we'll work that out. Yeah. That could be useful. We want, I had this crazy weird idea of something that's reusable across other Drupal cons and other Drupal events as well, where we could use people's tweets and the locations of tweets uh, with a particular hashtag yeah. to show people on a live Google map all tracking back down towards the Drupal car. Some sort of Drupal wacky racers type thing. With, like yeah, with, with um, I don't know, Nick LP going around in circles or something like that. <laughs> 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 uh, he's going to kill me when he sees me. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, some help with that would be really cool. So there's more to it than just getting on a bike in September and riding to Amsterdam. Uh, there's lots of other little bits as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of, um, we spoke about this, is to, uh, to have, to kind of facilitate with this and have the site, and obviously the Twitter, but especially the site, maybe set out, you mentioned it, Site for several starting points, but basically maybe the site can facilitate and say, okay, um, Tower is Amsterdam, and there's a route from I don't know the, from the northwest to Amsterdam to uh, Paris of Holland, and then I don't know Munich or Paris, and kind of put it all on the map and say, okay, people maybe can sign up, and say, okay, join this group or something like that, and then keep track of their progress on the live. That. I think be good. But it's just organising it really, how far do we need to go and how far can we go because um, when I started tweeting about it, I started following the, uh, the GB, was it Cycling MC or something like that, several other ones, and speaking to other people and I noticed that as soon as you, and I don't know all about this, but I hope some of you do, um, as soon as you start to do something as an organised group, you need to actually Register yourself and insurance and all that. There's a couple of questions I put on here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <coughs> insurance and all of that. <laughs> you tell I did the oh, same route. <laughs> yeah. Um, branded clothing, that's uh, more removed since which is great. Sorry? <laughs> what colour? Pink? Blue. Blue. Maybe we could do it in there. Or red, white, and black. Triple eight. Sorry? Red, white, and black. Maybe Amsterdam. Uh, or just red, white, and black. People know where we're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, accommodation. Um, and this is. Um, I made a couple of notes um, last night and read them kindly. I've got some. I don't know what's next. What's next? Okay, a couple yeah. of things that were. Uh, in there, do we need to, or actually do we get benefit from? Because we don't know the answers to this, <laughs> yeah, but these are things we need to start thinking about. Do we need to register as a cycling club? Can we actually get some benefit from that? So it's something we need to think about. And also, we get to the venue, we've got all these bikes, what on earth are we going to do with them? <laughs> I'm sure the whole <laughs> solution to that. I was going to say, <laughs> there's probably a pretty bike, a big bike park outside of the conference centre. Yeah, but they'll probably just have crap bikes that they leave around the lot. We say we should just leave the bikes. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's actually normal Dutch solution to what they do with the bikes. They just leave them, and they don't want them to do anything with them. There'll be a million bikes, but because they're all crap, they don't want to do anything. Yeah. We all set up on more expensive bikes. Well, funny enough, I don't know if you know, but the um, I learned this through Bert Bert Hulon, is that the venue of the DrupalCon is a ride, 
and the ride started as a bicycle kind of showcase event. And then it turned into cars and all sorts, and now it's in all sorts of things. But it's quite interesting. Maybe we can, I don't know, find a place there. Still yeah, quite. Bradley Williams is a keyboard speaker. Well, Paul Johnson, um, he, I was talking to him last night, and he said, if you start in Manchester, the velodrome, I'm sure you can get a lot of interest. Um, well, to, because all the pros, they cycle, they, they train there. So that's but, depending on how many, I, I've done this kind of thing before, and we, basically you do need a van, because you've got all the, all, the, all the stuff you need when you get there. Yeah. But then you can use the van to put the bicycles in, depending on the numbers you're dealing with. Good point, yeah. actually. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Is um, I know Chris, you've done a similar thing. Uh, obviously, Steve. Is there anybody else that has done a similar thing or an organised cycle ride or something similar? I've done uh, motorbike rides, which is very similar. And then you get your what's it called? What's what? Called? That's right. So you basically set out routes, and then at the end of the day, you stop at a B and B or the hotel, and then you have um, well, in that case, um, security for the bikes and things like that. But I guess it's similar to bicycle. We want to kind of have the bike for the next day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if there's anything, anybody who wants to share anything, I don't know, Steve or Chris or anybody. What, would you have a list? Do you, I mean, do you need people like to volunteer to help with some of getting this? Well, organized? yeah, well, yeah, very likely. Yeah. Are you volunteering? Yeah. If you <laughs> write them Yeah, if you put somewhere on me, sure. Definitely. <laughs> I think one of the first things that we really kind of need to do is keep the interest going. Uh, Stefan set up Todd Drupal, which is really good, and um, get some activity around that. And that's how we can see people who want to be a volunteer and kind of help us get things going, yeah. which would be really good. Also, getting an idea of locations that you are likely to find. I don't, I don't know where you are. So, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, is there a map coming up? Uh, is that water? This is a very place to have it. We're all avoiding this point. If it gets like that, we've got trouble. <laughs> I was hoping that it would. Uh, Chris, would you like to share it about uh, your. Um, um, your journey, because you all share with the group more. Um, cool. So I did this in 2009 to group Paris. I was originally going to go with um, John, um, whose surname I've forgotten, called out the last minute. So I ended up going on my own. And I, um, so I had um, a buddy, uh, Dan, took a suitcase for me, and I, I went on that bike with a like, little bag on the front about so big full of Jaffa cakes and maps. Passports and all those, and um, if that sounds terrifying. It, I want to tell you, it was it was really fun to do. Um, the only thing um, that wasn't so much fun is that I was doing it on my own, and then uh, it would be much more fun to do with other people. I think if there's a big group, uh, one thing I would say, I think if there's a big group, I do like the idea of having a band because um, you've got you've got backup. You know, if someone needs to take a rest, they can jump in the band. Um, and they just solves the whole problem of finding good living friends who are able to take the suitcase for you. Um, you, know, you can have the suitcases in there and everything. They're going for two or three people on their bikes if they need to take it. So I, I, I like the idea of a support vehicle. And I think if you've got a big group on the road with a band behind it, it offers some protection. Depending on the numbers, it might be more than one. Because yeah. I've done the man support thing, and you'd be surprised how how much stuff you want to put in there, especially if you have a large group, like just yeah. water yeah. in general, because you, you need to have tons of stuff like that, and like a lot of that stuff would take up a lot of room, so depending on numbers, you might need more than one van. You know, you, but I mean, you need to have a van for the van racing as well, because mm -hmm. if you want to race fast, you can put logos yeah. on the van. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to get an idea of generally where those that might be interested would come from. Not Shields, clearly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I made a, a Google map, which is what this is. 
I'm not going to try and click on it again because it clearly didn't work last time. Um, and it's just a Google map which you should have edit permissions for just by going to it. Anyone should have edit permissions. So if you just want to drop a, a, a marker on there, then I'll get it back up on the screen here in a moment and we'll kind of play around with it and, and see what's happening. We've got a couple of ideas about locations to start, but uh, lar largely we really want it to be driven by you. Uh, we've kind of got an idea that it might be nice to start at one of the velodromes, either Edinburgh, Manchester or London. Manchester Velodrome. Yeah. Manchester right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well that's okay then. Um, because, <coughs> well, for example, the Manchester one, yeah, if we could get, go in and see the uh, British team training before we set off, I think that'd be join them. It, well, <laughs> I, <laughs> it's one of the things I actually want to have a go at is on the velodrome. I've always wanted to do it. Actually. I want to be the guy on the motorbike. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> I've just got my motorbike license the other week, so I'm just kind of ripped. I'm waiting to buy my first motorbike, which is probably scary. Uh, but, but yeah, I would definitely do that too. Um, so please feel free to add to that map uh, a location, and then we'll see what how we can adopt that into a website as well uh, when we've actually yeah, we've there is a, well there is a website already <laughs> which I kind of <coughs> can get quickly uh, it's tourthedrupal.drupalgardens.com uh, it doesn't have a lot on it I won't show it but it doesn't have a lot of it on it apart from the register your interest form uh, which has been very useful <coughs> anybody of you in here hasn't registered but would like to register or have has ideas Please, uh, And it's the home page of this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's the home page of this. So if you go to that on Twitter, home page that's registered on that is the site that you've currently got. Yeah. Okay. So then what the um, Google Association are okay on the Amsterdam site? It, well, uh, mo these are all the things that we want to do, but we, <laughs> we haven't yet. <laughs> but absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it would be a really Yeah, we'll come on. I mean, I know it's very, uh, very upgrade. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, great. So we just, we just think there's something, we we just think something kind of useful in this. And it'll be fun. I like doing stuff that's just a bit kind of not the same every year. I like doing something different. Um, so I think it would be kind of a yeah. fun thing to do. Yeah, definitely. Uh, please feel free to add a marker, giving us an idea of where you are. That would be really useful. Uh, if we went from Manchester, we'd probably cycle away from Manchester for a day. For how far we got, then we'd probably train it for a bit, yeah. then probably bike a bit, then onto the ferry, then bike on the inside. We don't want to make this into something that we don't really want. Well, I, I want to go to the Pennines, but I don't think anyone does. <laughs> And maybe that's an option. Maybe the van takes the bikes back somewhere. Yeah. I was thinking maybe there must be opportunities to rent the bikes on the deck. Yeah. Yeah, there are. If we get over with our ride and we get rid of the bikes, we don't need to. Yeah, you can. But Richard said that didn't work. He said four and a half hours. Yeah. It's not actually a long bike ride once you get there. <laughs> yeah, but things like that, I mean, bike ride, bike rental is, um, can rent bikes basically everywhere. But, I mean, that would be good to have on the site. Including electric ones, actually. No, no. Heather's a pro. <coughs> yeah. That's not a real bike, that's cheating. <laughs> I want but to it's a good cheater. I'm segway, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Segway, isn't it? Yeah. Segway, isn't it? Yeah. Segway, isn't it? I don't know if we need to define bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Not just two wheels. Yeah. <laughs> One in front of another. If anyone wants to borrow my unicycle, they're more than welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Please take it away from that. <laughs> uh, but that's largely what we're thinking. Uh, yeah. Go put a marker on the web on on the, map, the Google map. So go to here, where's the follow. Google map? Pardon? Where is the Google map? There you go. That just takes you to the website, I think. No, 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 no it says Tor Drupal, map. not Tor Digital. Ah, right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, should take you to a Google map. Um, 
if it comes up with my user account, I apologize. Uh, thank you. Do an um, algorithm and then like do, do a, a Drupal tourist trip of like, this is where Dreams was born. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? There's people that probably do that and be really fascinated. That's the weird thing. Well, if we go via Nova, then we can do that. Yeah. Don't we can they? Or don't we it depends can. how, you know, into it. Was it. A job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but really, it's just kind of, we're doing this session at the last minute. We don't know all the answers. We're looking to you to show interest and help us think that um, it's worth finding out and to help us find out those answers and then actually come along and write because frankly it will just be a laugh. Yeah? Okay. And we're cycling today as well, that's the plan. Oh, we yeah, haven't forgotten. When? We're going to go for a quick ride. When? When, yeah. Um, well, either lunchtime or maybe um, at 3 o'clock. I don't know. I'm a bit worried about 3 because it's going to start to get dark. Well, lunchtime. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'll do it most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, you know, come along, enjoy yourself, perform the lap, and we'll get stuck in. Uh, any questions? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been tied up and definitely not. Actually. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. Yeah, Thanks thank for coming along. Thank you, um, we hope to see you following. We will look forward to seeing you all raving and fit in September. There is a Twitter account. Is that for the previous Twitter drum or is that for yours? No, this one. This, this is new. Yeah. And future yeah. ones. Yes. <laughs> Um, follow, tweet, retweet, get people interested. That's what we need. I did have the other the idea the idea last night, didn't I? I said, Oh we could go from one the previous years to the yeah. this year's <laughs> and then you went, You do know how far Prague is to <laughs> and I was like, Oh yeah. <laughs> do do the right other guy would do Austin to yeah. It is, it, it, that is amazing, actually. If he does it, that would be fantastic. It's quite funny because that uh, the person that responded to the club from Austin responded to, oh, this is really cool. I'm going to want to join. How do I join? And then I think she thought about it. Well, that's actually quite far. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe just cycle to Drupal uh, Austin instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, like an exercise bike on the plane. How are we doing for time? I think we're doing really well actually. It's uh, 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, Goes for lunch, goes for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to go for a quick bike ride. We might go around to the Velodrome. Yeah. After we've had something to eat. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Brought my bike. So. Yeah, well, well, I can't yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't know the way. <laughs> yeah, you come. You do those city Uh oh. Is that a problem? It will be busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Well, thank you very, yeah, thank you very much. much.